Well, I'm our facts of Mars. Uh, and we have trouble. Now, I'm not one of these doomsayers who sits there and ends the world every other day. You see them all the time on YouTube. The world ends tomorrow. It's all clickbait. I'm not going to do that, but we have a serious problem here with the Middle East. One of these Palestinians. This is Hamas and their promised uh, uprising. Here's the problem. This is going to continue until May 14th, May 15th. So two different dates, but that's only one day's difference. I'm not concerned with the difference. And there's two other things that are important on that date. One is that it's the May 14th is the 70th anniversary of Israel's founding, which means this, the Arabs are going to be all uptight to start with. And President Trump is moving the uh, American embassy in Israel over to uh, Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. So we have all this going on, and it's all converging on the middle of May. Trouble, like I said. What's going to happen is anybody's guess. Uh, you see the tent city that they've set up. This is a march for the Great Return March. Which means basically they want to invade Israel and take it over. Which Israel isn't going to allow because they're rolling tanks and using drones and using snipers. Not good. So I just want to say keep an eye on that particular... I know it's a long ways away, but may will sneak, sneak up on us faster than you know. With those three things going together, and Erdogan in Turkey, who's a major dirtbag, uh, possibly trying to get an Arab army to go together, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, maybe nothing? But the odds don't favor nothing happening. Not, you know, looking at this, and knowing this is no real protest, this is the thing about invading. And seeing the Israeli soldiers uh, sitting there, guns ready. Gonna be a rough ride, folks. Let's hope it doesn't get too bad. Let's hope it stays over there. No artifacts of Mars. Feeling depressed. Thanks for watching.